Boom, hey, what's going on guys? So listen, stores are making 60% of their yearly revenue in one day this year. And that day is Black Friday. 2018 is projected to be a record breaking year in e-commerce sales with an increase of 15% over last year. Say what? In the USA alone, there's gonna be a projected 5.8 billion with a B dollars generated in e-commerce revenue. Oh, hell nah. So it's imperative when going into Shopify Black Friday to not use your standard strategies. Because if you're using the same strategies as you do all the rest of the year, you can't expect to do well. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna go over the strategies that me and my team are gonna use so that we could get a slice of that sweet, 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 5.8 billion dollar e-com pie. And as a bonus, there's gonna be a $50 giveaway. It's gonna be released on Black Friday, and I will announce in this video how you can enter to win. So stay tuned for all that. Let's go ahead and jump into my computer, and let's go ahead and jump into the powerful content, all right? Let's go. <clears throat> all right, all right. So hey, by the way, guys, in the description, there's a link so you guys could sign up for a free Shopify trial. If you have not signed up yet, there's a small commission that's earned. If you sign up and purchase a plan using that link, it's invested back into the channel for giveaways and stuff like that. So the money that I'm using for the giveaway and today's giveaway is from some affiliate commission, just like that. Anyways, let's jump into this. Shopify Black Friday and Shopify Cyber Monday. We're gonna be going over just kind of quarter four holiday season stuff because it is the most profitable time of the year. It's the most wonderful time of the year. You gotta take advantage of this. My original store is in Philippines, so I hurried up and I hired out a bunch of staff to like streamline the process for my second store. All the marketing, I have a whole team that's working on stuff and you guys should be doing the same. So Shopify for Christmas, let's go over Christmas a little bit. So during quarter four and during the whole holiday season, the buyer intent changes. See, people now are oftentimes buying for others uh, and not so much themselves. And a lot of times people that are buying gifts for other people don't really know what to buy for the other person and they're gonna be looking for whatever's most convenient by buying something that seems fun and random from online. But something you should keep into consideration is print on demand clothing. For example, you could target the wives of firefighters with kind of a unique print on demand firefighter t-shirt for their husband. That's just one example, but actually in the targeting on Facebook ads, firefighter wives is one of the options if I recall. If you cannot go that specific on your targeting, you might want to consider digging around looking for some kind of organization that exists. Like for example, example, if you wanted to target the wives of people that are in the army, the wives of men that are in the army or women, uh, you know, you might be able to find some kind of organization of, you know, army wife organization, something like that. And another thing for quarter four, you guys consider private labeling if you have the experience for it. And you could work on that now and you could have something dialed in by Black Friday or Cyber Monday and then continue on for the rest of quarter four. And that's white labeling like bulk items from Alibaba or something like that. Because as some of you guys probably know, you could actually have the manufacturer, Alibaba in China, customize everything. So you could get creative with that. And while we're talking about Shopify Christmas, you wanna be sure to stop your shipping or give very clear warnings on products that may not arrive by Christmas. So for example, if you're selling Christmas related items, you may consider stopping those sales around December 4th if you're actually drop shipping from AliExpress because after that date, they may not arrive in time for Christmas. You don't want people filing a bunch of chargebacks and complaints and everything else because quarter four is an opportunity that can make or break your store. You're gonna have a huge influx of customers and you don't wanna piss them off for first time customers. So make sure everything is ethical and very clear on shipping times and because it's never good when presents do not arrive in time for Christmas. So very clearly all of your store and all the emails and thank you pages, something along the lines of due to extremely high demand, orders after whatever date may not arrive before Christmas. All right guys, so we are at the end of October. So there is some catching up or, you know, continuing preparing that you have to do. Think about this. 96% of e-commerce stores hire anywhere from one to 15 new staff members strictly for the holiday season. So if you don't have any staff prepared, you might want to start looking now, looking for virtual assistants and people to help you out with all the process when you have an influx of customers. Like I was telling you guys, I have a whole marketing team in place on my second store, for example, so that I could really oversee everything, but I'm mostly hands 
hands off. I'm paying other people to handle all the time consuming tasks so that I could focus on other things. And something to be prepared for. Be prepared to pay a little bit more on Facebook ads as there's gonna be tons of people buying Facebook ads in quarter four. Be prepared to have all your upsell and frequently bought together apps in place. For example, if you're selling Christmas product that's a proven winner, upsell it with another Christmas product at checkout that has been shown to have potential. And this one might be obvious guys, but make sure you have some kind of email capture. You're gonna have such a huge influx of customers. You need to be able to capture their email so you can touch base with them in the future. And of course, have your pixel installed. And some important marketing stuff to keep in mind, quarter four is a great time of the year to get away with a little extra email marketing so you could take advantage of it as people expect a little more promotions during the holiday season. Where normally you don't wanna be pounding people with too many emails all the time. They're just gonna stop reading them or unsubscribe. You could kind of get away with it a little bit more in quarter four. Another thing, Instagram influencers are likely going to be getting hefty requests as well. So line them up now, schedule your shout outs weeks in advance if you need to. And you guys for the giveaway, what I need you to do for the giveaway is in the comment section, put in Shopify Black Friday. Just put Shopify Black Friday in the comment section and you will be entered in to win $50 cash straight to your PayPal. The contest will be for when there's a hundred comments in the comment section that say Shopify Black Friday. All right, so here's some bonuses here, you guys. You guys can consider raising the prices a bit so that you can mark them down a lot more and still make a profit. So for example, if you're selling a product that's normally $20, you might mark it up to 30 so that you could cut it down to 50% uh, off and it's $15. But even if you have some break even items, like for example, if you're doing free plus shipping and you're breaking even on these items, this is an incredible opportunity for customer acquisition because you're gonna have that info flux of customers for the holiday season and boom you're picking up their email you can email market to them later and this is a big one you guys when you have customers in your email marketing to them you're gonna be promoting your Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales but after Black Friday you can actually have an extension telling them hey we bought too much inventory and we have to get rid of it so we're extending our Black Friday sale through blah 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 you could do the same thing for Cyber Monday and you could see these as a successful e-commerce store did. All right, guys, put Shopify Black Friday in the comment section. Let me know what you think of this video. Drop a like. It really motivates me to continue making content for you guys. Good luck on the contest. I'm excited to pick someone. All right. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time. Peace out.